Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. Thank you for visiting my channel and clicking on this video. Now, let's get down to why you probably came here, which is my revisiting of the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Now, let me give some backstory. Okay, I tried the Curl Maker way back in 2014, 2015, because I had heard so many good things about it. I tried it and I just didn't like the results I got. I got these sticky white balls in my hair and I was just not in love with the results. So I actually gave the whole bottle away to one of my coworkers who had a looser texture of curl uh, because I really just didn't feel like it could work on my type for hair. I don't remember what product I used and I didn't film that video at the time but I wanted to come back to this so that I can see if it's still quite what it was and I'm just going to do the one product on my hair and see how it turns out. So you can see I have my hair already sectioned out and I have this back section out because that's where I'm going to start and i'm going to try to follow the direction so let me tell you something about the product this is a more natural hair gel um and i bought it because it was supposed to be kind of like kinky curly so the top ingredients are deionized um water pectin uh, coconut oil aloe leaf juice panthenol castor seed oil marshmallow root agave american leaf extract horsetail extract nettle leaf extract cornstarch xanthan gum um seaweed um and those are like the top ingredients there's a couple other things like vitamin b12 optifin which is a um antibacterial antimicrobial and then fragrance is at the bottom and here's the directions it says how to enjoy apply a generous amount generous okay because i did that last time apply a generous amount to freshly washed and detangled hair distributing evenly throughout sections from root to tip ensure hair is wet while using this defining jelly to finger style for beautifully defined and soft curls layer curl maker on top of curl love moisture melt now i tried the moisture milk before i liked it and i used the rest of it but this time i am not going to do that i'm just going to use this product by itself and see what my results are so i'm going to go grab my spray bottle because i somehow forgot it and then i'll be back and i'll start with the application play some music for you and then we'll discuss after i am done doing that all right All right, we're back. I went and got my water bottle. So, I'm gonna start by spraying this section down. I'm gonna get my hair a little bit wetter because my hair is starting to my hair was up in the towel before I sectioned it off so maybe Okay, so there we go. That's what it's looking like. Now it said apply a generous amount. So I'm going to pump out, I think I'm going to try two pumps and see how much that gets us. Okay, I went for three. And that's about a quarter size amount of the product. It's pretty runny. 
That's kind of the consistency of it. Okay. So I'm gonna start at the root and apply it down to the tip, like raking it through. It has a really nice scent to it too. Like a nice clean scent. That's the only way I can describe it. Okay, I'm gonna take about that much more product, rub it in my hand, start raking it through. And it's really nice for like detangling your hair. My hair, my fingers are gliding through my hair. And looking at the curl definition, the curl definition so far looks amazing. Like kinky curly type curl definition. So I'm actually kind of excited to see what this product can do. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this. I'll do the whole application process on camera, but I'll play some music for you guys. And then I'll be back with the whole head done. Okay, guys, so I am now done applying the product. This is what my hair looks like. Um, so far, I'm liking how it looks. I like the smell of it. It smells like um, fabric softener to me. I love the smell of fabric softener. So the fact that it smells like it is pretty cool. Now, I did use a fair amount of the product 
this is how much I used. I don't know if that was too much because I used like a quarter of the bottle, but we shall see. And I'm gonna go off camera basically and um, let my hair air dry and I'll be back. Like I'm gonna let it air dry partially and then let uh, probably diffuse it because I wanna see how it performs with air drying, like how long it takes. And um, if it takes more than a couple hours, I'll probably hit it with a diffuser, maybe stretch it a little bit. And then we will talk about that and I'll check in with you guys with wear test. So I will be back. Hey guys, so I wanted to pop in really quick and show you day two hair. I didn't have a chance to show what my hair looked like after it was blow dried. So this is what the Camille Rose Curl Maker looks like in my hair on day two. So far I'm pretty happy with it, but we'll see what it looks like tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And I will come back and check in with what it looks like. See you then. Hey guys, so it is Friday. So this is officially day five hair. All I've been doing is re-wetting my hair every morning with my mister. And this is what my hair looks like. It's also been like raining. And I say that in quotations because it's not really a rain. It's like a mist, this perpetual fine mist coming down. So yeah, my hair got rained on all day. But this is what it looks like. I was very tempted to put my hair in braids and just wear my wigs, but I persevered and it honestly kind of held up for the week. It's pretty big, um, but let me show you how it looks. All right, and there you go. This is my hair <laughs> after five days of wearing it because remember I did my hair on Sunday and I did my hair Sunday night, I think. And now it's, um, it's Friday night. It's been a long day. It's been a long week for me. So you have to accept my apologies. Anyway, my personal review after just using it once of the product is that it's actually great. I'm glad that I revisited the product because I was avoiding it because it just held up so well. I didn't get any of the white balls like I got last time. My hair never got sticky like it got last time. So I think maybe last time, maybe I used too much of the product or maybe there was a weird product interaction. I can't remember if I used another product in conjunction with the curl maker but on its own it works absolutely fantastic i have no complaints about it so for my hair this one really works and i really like that my hair has stayed moisturized throughout the whole week then again i have been wetting it so take that as you will but anyway that is the conclusion of my review and five day wear test for the Camille Rhodes Curl Maker. <sighs> Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you for watching and if you like the video, like, share, comment, and feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.